All right, coming up next, we get to this lightweight tilt between Khabib Nurmagomedov and Conor McGregor. Well, what a moment this is as the notorious Conor McGregor, the champ champ, makes his return to the greatest proven ground in mixed martial arts. You know McGregor cares an awful lot about his MMA legacy, so you know this return to the UFC was an eventuality. Perhaps it took longer than many fans expected, but the present is Conor McGregor walking back to the octagon here tonight. Conor McGregor has that it factor, along with a fantastic and creative striking game, a very good ground game, and extreme confidence in himself. All these make for a fan favorite combination. So here is the combat sambo master, and according to many, a future UFC champion, the Dagestani Khabib Nurmagomedov. Thus far, perfect 24-0, undefeated in the UFC. And this is just one tough customer. Mean, nasty, has the requisite heart to go with all of those skills. He'll take you down, you'll have a hard time getting up. Joe, this is one tough out at 155 pounds. This guy has extremely unusual kicking speed. His technique is outstanding, and there is no wind-up to his movement. And now our tale of the tape for this lightweight fight. Both fighters 29 years of age. McGregor will have a four inch reach advantage. All right, now for the particulars, we go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC lightweight division. This is the first fighting out of the new corner. This man is a kickboxer holding a professional record of 21 wins, four losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting at a Dublin Island! The notorious Connor McGregor! And now, if you see the opponent, this man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 27 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Pakistan, Russia, Habib, the Eagle, All right, the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, so back to your corners. I am fight. very fired up for this fight. It's been a long time coming. The fans have been anticipating this for a long time, and it is gonna go ready? down right ready? now. Let's go we are ready to go with round one here. So here is the internationally recognized Sambo master, Khabib Nurmagomedov. Used to wrestle bears, thankfully won't have to do that here tonight. Only taking on a human being, and those men haven't had much success against him. That one hurt. That landed. 
Joe, your thoughts on what we'll see in this matchup tonight? One thing to keep an eye out for in this fight are the counter shots of Conor McGregor. Marco Maddox got double underhooks now. Good job of timing strikes here. Got one overhook and one underhook here. Lands to the body there. McGregor gets hit again to the body. He's got to figure out a way to lower up that defense. Pummels under, maintains the under. Pretty good straight punch for him there, Joe. These guys are swinging. Oh, and down. And now is where things could get really interesting. Controlling him from behind. Very nice sweep winds up in his opponent's guard. And he's back in the guard. He escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Well, he got cracked to the head there, Joe. He's going to have to change things up here with his footwork, with his tempo. He continues to be vulnerable to that strike coming back. Got to get his head off the center line. Just over two minutes to go. McGregor gets the double underhooks. Under two minutes now to go in round one. McGregor's able to get the underhook here. And that one certainly found the target. And there comes the separation now. Nurmagomedov gets stung by that leg kick. He landed that oh! punch close. Oh! He's got him hurt here. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Caught him with a punch. Back to his feet again. Amazing. Oh, nice job of avoiding the clinch. 20 seconds to go. Lost the shot here, Joe. McGregor's lower jaw is just nasty at this point. Really swollen in that area now. Right, no more strikes. Five Three minutes in the books. Let's take a look at some of the action from that round. And here's a nice shot, lands perfectly. And here's another clean shot that lands. And another perfectly placed strike. Brittany Palmer in the building. Okay, round two, you ready? You ready? All right, round two. Now, starting off this round, he might still be hurt. He's going to want to look to be defensive and move and avoid getting hit and try to recover. Conor McGregor has a very unpredictable striking style. Throws a lot of wild kicks, has some excellent knockout power as punches, and has a very strong ground game as well. He, he landed a left hand there. Good punch. And back to full guard. Big shot from the bottom. Nurmago Medov going to work here from guard. Nice combination there. Everything he throws is with fight ending intentions. How about that chin? Good exchange there. Well, he's landed some excellent shots in this fight tonight, but more often than not, it has been one and done. So the emphasis now moving forward. Combinations. Throw your punches and bunches and really try to force the issue and get your opponent out of here. Another excellent takedown from Nurmagomedov. Yes, sir. Absolutely, Joe. All right, under three minutes now to go in round two. Clean hammer fist. Excellent movement on the ground here. Always trying to better his position. Into side control. 
Inside control here. He's looking for the Kimura, trying to lock it up. He's got his arm pinned down. It looks like the submission's locked. Oh, we're getting a finish here. This Kimura is getting further and further. He might have to tap. There's the tap. It was a beautiful job setting up that submission, and once he got it, the fight was over. Yeah, that is high-level stuff out of him there, Joe, to finish the submission. It's one thing to get the dominant position. It's another thing to close the show, and he certainly did that here tonight. That's a big one. And here's the end of the fight. And here we can see it again. Beautiful technique here on this Kimura. Perfectly applied for the tap. And here we see it again. Beautiful submission victory. So there he is, your winner by submission. That could hold up as one of the better subs of the year. Near perfect execution tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta has called a stop to this contest. About two minutes, 59 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by tap out. So nearly 30 men have tried, and as yet, no one has solved the puzzle. That is the Dagestani Khabib Nurmagomedov proving to be, if not the best, one of the best lightweights in the world. And again, when the striking starts to catch up with the wrestling, this is a guy who is going to be even more dominant than he already is now. The Eagle, Khabib Nurmagomedov, getting his hand raised in a big way here tonight. It is a lightweight bout between Khabib Nurmagomedov and Michael the Menace Johnson. All right, so here's the well-rounded lightweight contender, Michael the Menace Johnson, training under Henry Hooft, Greg Jones at the Combat Club there in South Florida. This is a man who went to Central Methodist University on a full scholarship to wrestle and play football, but really has found his calling in mixed martial arts. Outstanding athleticism, really great with his hands, great jab, a nice straight left hand, good takedown defense, five-tool player in what is perennially the UFC's deepest and most talented division. This guy is very well-rounded. He literally has no weaknesses in his game. He is technical in all areas of mixed martial arts. So here he is, the two-time Combat Sambo world champion, lightweight contender, Khabib Nurmagomedov. Undefeated for the mixed martial arts career, he has been dominant every step of the way. Joe the Eagle trains out of the famed American Kickboxing Academy in San Jose, California. This guy has devastating takedowns. The ability to get his opponent to the mat time and time again has proven to be one of the most effective tools in his arsenal. And now our tale of the tape for this lightweight fight. Johnson is two years his senior. He will have a three-inch reach advantage. We send it inside the octagon. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Steen. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC lightweight division. It's 
this man is a mixed martial artist with a professional record of 20 wins, 13 losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting at a poker with Tom Pumada, Michael the Madness Johnson! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 27 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib! You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. I am very fired up for this fight. It's been a long time coming. The fans have been anticipating this for a long time. And it is gonna go down right now. We are underway. So here he is, the internationally recognized Sambo Master, still undefeated, Khabib Nurmagomedov. Some of the best takedowns in the game. I'm told he used to wrestle bears, Joe. Oh, he hurt him. Hard shot from the clinch. Johnson gets up, but he looks dazed and confused. Big shot. He's going to the foot stop here, Joe. These are some bombs he is throwing. Nurmagomedov's got the tie clinch. Let's see what he can do. That knee might have landed there. Once again, employing the knee. So both fighters here continuing to try to get a more dominant position. All right, so some fatigue striking, I guess you would call it here. He is landing, but just not inflicting much damage because his stamina is on low. Oh, flying knee. Oh, he connected with an elbow. Went for the head kick. Nurmagomedov gets caught with that punch. Oh, we got that. Oh, we got that. Trying to finish oh, this fight. That's it. He's out. That is it. And that is a great sign of an intelligent fighter. Composure. Knew he heard him. And he's taking his time. How about the ground and pound to finish the fight, Joe? That is as good an offensive execution as we have seen on the ground in recent memory. One big shot after the next. He wasn't just trying to score or bide time before the referee stood them up. He was trying to pound his opponent out of there, and that is exactly what he did. You wonder if some fighters will watch this footage and learn from that high-level offensive execution when it comes to the ground and pound. Let's take a look at it from a different angle. So a huge result and a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the big knockout win. That could hold up as one of the better KOs of the year. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop in this contest. At two minutes, 16 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Habib the Eagle. All right, so a big win tonight for Khabib Nurmagomedov. They say everybody eventually meets their match in mixed martial arts. It hasn't happened for Nurmagomedov yet. And you wonder what type of fighter, striker, is going to be able to find the recipe to be Khabib Nurmagomedov once again, proving that he is one of, if not the best lightweights in the world.